Hi folks, I'm Tom Carlson, owner of Hostas Direct. It's September 20th, 2008. I'm actually in my garden here next to one of the first two hostas I ever purchased. This is Montana. I actually purchased it from uh, Heideko Gowan, who is a famous hosta expert. And uh, it's Montana. It's a species plant. As you can see, it gets very large. It's got a beautiful form. And I chose this plant to show off what our hosta trowel can do for you. Um, I'll be honest with you, we don't make a whole lot of money in these hosta trowels, but I love the, the trowel so much, I just think it's something that everybody should own. And if you buy one and you use it and you don't like it, let me know and uh, send it back to us and we'll, we'll credit your credit card. No questions asked. I'm that confident you're going to like it. But in any event, uh, everywhere I show the shovel, or everybody uses it, just loves it. And it doesn't have to be just for hostas. It can be for roses, for daylilies, for tulips, for general gardening. Some of the advantages are it's got this nice long handle. So if you have a bad back like I do, you don't have to bend over so far. As an example, if I want to get these weeds up, I can just do it that easy. It's got this sharp point, which makes dividing hostas real easy, or if you're going through clay or stone, this sharp point is uh, very advantageous. Another nice thing about it is it's got this tight uh, circumference on it, com say compared to your typical garden spade, which is more rounded and wider. And that allows you to, if you're going to divide a, a hosta, to, to just cut out one of the divisions and leave the rest of them. Um, there's even a little measuring stick on here for inches and centimeters. Um, I'm going to sh another nice thing I like about this is if you're working with fertilizer or with potting soil or that kind of thing and you got the bag open a little bit, you can just shove this down, grab it and put it in. So it's a it's a very easy to use tool. Um, and I'm just going to dig up one of these divisions here just to demonstrate how easy it is. I don't know if the camera can see this, but I'm going to take this chunk of the hostas right here. You can, you can hear it going through the, through the uh, roots. This plant's probably been here for 10 years. And because of the long handle and the heavy steel, you can really get a lot of leverage on the plant. In fact, I'm going to dig this one a little farther away. and try and save more of the root. We use this shovel about 99% of the time to dig our hostas. Now you can see these roots go down a long way and now I'm going to use the leverage of the shovel to get it out. Boy, these are big roots. Not only that, there's a fern growing right in the middle of it. Which you probably couldn't have done that with your regular old garden spade. Here's the fern you can see, an ostrich fern. 
And then you can hit it with this round point of your handle so you don't damage your roots so much. And if you want to divide it again, by the way, these are uh, hostas we would ship to our customers. They're nice big hostas like this. This one I think I'm going to see if I can pull it apart with my hand. Now normally what we do is we would take a hose and wash this out and remove the roots by, separate the roots by hand. And uh, I'm just going to do it without using the water. Here's a big bud for next year. If you can see that, it's next year's crown. And there's another one. So anyway, hope that gives you an idea as to what the uh, shovel can do. We uh, removed a couple big chunks without damaging the rest of the plant. And then I would just cover that with soil, maybe tap it down just a little bit, and water it. It's a heck of a deal, folks.